excavation, and then we'll be working on getting that liner and underlayment in there. Uh, we will get to the stone this afternoon. Which way? This way? So you can see we made it to noontime. We have uh, installed the liner and then we had to roll it back this way just a bit, about halfway, uh, so that we can install the rock for the first island before uh, we reinstall that liner. We can't drive a machine over the liner, obviously. Uh, it would damage it. So in order to set the first half, we have to roll it back because the liner is just too long and the beach on the excavator, even though it's big, is just too short. So uh, we're going to stop lunch and uh, then we'll be continuing on. You did it. <laughs> you look like, picture or you gotta make a serious face? You got giggle. <laughs> you did it. A pretty good day. We've got our liner in place. We've got some stoning done in. We had a little bit of difficulty with the excavator. It decided it was going to leak some hydraulic fluid on our liner. So we're having to use a small excavator up close and the big one uh, just to shuttle rock back and forth. So a little bit of a setback, a little bit of a challenge, but that's what it's all about. This is uh, where this cave in was in the back shelf here. I'm going to scoop that out, put some fresh material in there, pack it in. Uh, it's got some pretty good clay in it, so I'll pack that in there with a machine and then you guys can recut it. Um, so we'll have that nice firm shelf on the edge there. Okay. threshold coming out on that peninsula hmm. looks like a good one it's nice and flat on top I think I like the one where it's closer to the bank just because you have the stepping stones. Yeah. The first the first thing that you said. So the wide end is on this end? Yeah. And then the tip is on this end. 
Back into the bank, yes. Yeah. I think that would be pretty cool. In this area here, we're talking about putting a threshold here. It uh, comes out like a peninsula, but we're going to have a serpentine stepping stone path. It'll look like floating stones that start off on that side of that island and kind of swoop out and then die into the back side of the next island. And this threshold stone will kind of give that path a reason to have that serpentine shape because it's going to extend out into the water and it'll give people as they come down this path, it'll give people kind of an invitation to cross over into that other world where they're out in, in the water, the body of water, and they can, they can see the fish moving about and kind of uh, get a little closer to it rather than just um, walking the perimeter. So I am in my little Fiat. It's a pretty good deal. I have to run around and go to this list. You can't really see it there, but it's long of maintenance customers and uh, other minor little things that have come up over the last couple weeks while we've been on this project. So I'm gonna go and take care of those this morning while Steve and Sean go ahead and uh, get the stone for the island and the stepping uh, little walkway and uh, then I will catch back up with them on the job. Uh, I will probably be operating, Steve will probably be strapping and Sean will probably be setting. That's our usual uh, way of setting things up but any of us could do any of those things so uh, it'll be interesting to see how the day pans out. It looks like so far the sun might break through we're hoping uh, and it would be great if we got a little bit of a uh, breeze again today because I don't know if you've ever been in New Hampshire Vermont uh, northern New England uh, after the snow goes the mud dries up you get black flies and they're these nasty little gnats and there's about a hundred million of them they're in your eyes they're in your nose they're in your mouth anytime you breathe or open your eyes they're there so hoping for just a little bit of a breeze. We've had that so far almost every single day uh, while we've been on this job, so we've been really, really lucky that way. Uh, we'll see how the day pans out. All right, Steve, let's try your stone for the third time, or second time. I think it has a lot to do with the strapping person, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's just the stone. Bring her out. I think it's the man setting it. Wiggle it, Steve, wiggle it. 